Hi all, this is Chris Terrell with Everyday BBA. In this video we're going to be doing a quick run through of a loop through all of the open workbooks. Now, you, if you start writing BBA, you will use this a lot and you'll actually use this concept a ton. And that's really a for loop that loops through an object. So we're just going to go ahead and dig right in. Got a workbook open. I've got my Visual Basic Editor open. That's the IDE. And we are going to go to the book that I'm in. Now you'll notice I'm in book one and I have some books open. So if I click on that, I've got book one, book two, and book three open. And I've got a nice little screensaver in the back, which is awesome. We're going to go to book one. That is the one that we're going to be working on. We're going to open up a module, sub WB loop is what we're going to call our macro. That's what our macro is going to be called. First thing we're going to do is we're going to dim W as workbook. Okay. Now the only reason I do that is I do want to set that that W to an object, and I do that. Uh, the reason I want to do that is because I want the IntelliSense, um, and I'll show you why that is. So we're going to do for each W in workbooks. Okay. Now what this what this does is it says W is a workbook, and workbooks belong a workbook belongs to workbooks. So we are going to go out to the workbooks object, and we're going to go through each workbook. Now I know that that sounds confusing, um, any but we will go through, and it should make a little bit more sense. So now every four has to have an end next. If it doesn't, you're going to get a compiler. Compilers can be a pain. They're not when your code is this long. But um, needless to say. Uh, it can be a pain. So what we're going to do is we're going to go w, we're going to go debug dot print, and the reason we're doing this is because I just want to show you the names of these books. So we're going to go w dot name. Now, if you'll remember, got to get rid of the equals. I forgot about that. All debug print does is it prints down here in my immediate window. It's a really nice uh, feature if you're just debugging. Um, in this case, I just want to show you that we're going to loop through them. And then we're also going to do w.activate. Um, activate. Okay. Um, now, since I declared this w as a workbook, it gave me that IntelliSense. So if I hit w and I hit uh, period, it would actually pull up all of the methods and properties of that object. It just makes it easier to code. So I typically do that as a as kind of a best practice. And now we're going to go ahead and run through this macro real quick. You'll notice it doesn't actually process that. It just sets it. And you'll notice that it's down here. And it's the workbook type. And it's going to go through each. And we're going to activate it, which basically means it's just going to set it. And it's going to print it. Now, that's interesting. It actually goes in and it finds that VBA project. Because that actually is a workbook. It's not open. It's not visible. But it is actually running because Excel is open. Next one, it's going to activate. And this is book one. You'll notice that we're highlighted on it. And it activated it. You'll notice it just kind of flickered a little bit. That means that it just basically set that window as default. And it had to go back to the Visual Basic Editor um, because that's where the code's running. And then it's going to activate book three. And we are done. So that is a really quick code that can loop you through all of the open workbooks. Um, this is super helpful. And just even understanding the concept of the for each uh, whatever object with it within whatever parent object is that will take you very far in coding it took me forever to learn that I've probably been coding for 10 years before I figured that out so you're way ahead of me hope you enjoyed make sure you subscribe to the everyday VBA channel comment if you like this video and hope you enjoyed